that say that I can or can't do something, uh, or that that, uh, that somebody can, that some collective organization can go around killing people in my name, right? Yeah. Or, but if there weren't some of these rules, what about people that would go around killing, robbing, taking stuff of yours? I say, don't believe there's a need for any of that shit, is what I'm saying. How's your ass? I don't, there's a, I don't believe that there's a need for me to have any more than anybody else has. Sure uh, you think people don't don't you think people have that nature in them to to rob, steal, kill? They obviously must because it happens. I'm not talking about the robbing, stealing, and killing. I'm talking about the uh, I'm talking about genocide, you know, and war and. Uh, and you've got to play. I think so. But is killing and robbing bad business? It's gotta be. Yeah. I'd say it's bad business, but it's also a little bit different of a matter. If the guy, uh, it's, well, how about, it's a really like an how about, it's, it's his responsibility alone. He's taking it off. Right, right, right. right. If, if you decide to kill somebody, it's you deciding you're going to kill the guy. It's between you and the guy. And whether you're when somebody or not, tells you, or not, to, kill, it's when somebody to, tells you to kill somebody in the name of something else. Then it's a responsibility for you to say, uh, I'm going to go along with this and kill the guy. Then you're making a decision to do something weird. Yeah. You know, you're doing it not for yourself, you're doing it for something that you think might be going on. I couldn't do it. I couldn't kill somebody for anybody else. Well, if there was a person who could kill someone for themselves, do you think they should be stopped? Do you think they should go ahead? Well, it would be nice to make it so that that killing wasn't a solution to anything anymore. Yeah, but you can't do that, can you? Maybe you could. I don't know that you can. Yeah. You know. But I'm until sure there might a, be a way, a way found, there has to be some rules which, which half cops, you know, they've got to be around. And uh, I have no objection. Like I say, I have no objection to the cops either. Uh, it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, what what can the cops can do to me? They can lock me up, you know. Uh, when it gets to where the cops can start killing me, that's another matter. Then I'll start worrying about the cops. Yeah. Um, I, I that like the the whole cop thing doesn't scare me or doesn't worry me or put me up tight or anything like that. I think cops are okay. Yeah. You know, they can like do their thing differently. They don't. They don't have to be. Uh, <laughs> you know, they don't have to be cops all the time. <laughs> yeah. Take a little pot now and then. Well, I'd feel better about it if the cops were also heads. Yeah. Well, what do you get out of it, mostly? Do you... Do you play better under dope? By any chance? No. Uh... Would you just... No, but, I, but, but it's sometimes I feel better. But it doesn't take your ability away. No, I don't... Not unless you get completely wasted, but I sort of believe in moderation in all things, you know? Yeah. I believe in getting... <laughs> and being obliterated. Yeah. You know, I, I believe in like, uh, like right. if you want to have something that makes you feel a little better and gives you a slightly different outlook than your normal one, then it's your own business, not anybody's business but yours. As long as it doesn't infringe right, as long as, anybody else's right, rights. As long as it doesn't infringe anybody, not? whether you hurt anybody or anything like that. Uh, uh, it, with the playing, you know, like we've sort of experimented with it, like some drugs you can play well on, some you can't play well on. Uh, some do things to like your sense of time, but like the only way we'd ever found out about any of this would be to try it. Well, when you recorded your record, how were you? Uh, uh, we smoked grass most of the time. That's fairly common. Everybody yeah. does the rolling stuff, and everybody does it. You know, we heard some yeah, amazing true. stories about all of that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but I don't want to, you know. Uh, anyway, um, but that's like, you know, that's what we would do when we were practicing, or that's what we'd do for a gig or anything like that. It was no different than yeah. our normal situation. Like, and like, you know, grass is so much like an, an everyday thing. It's not like you don't get wasted on it or anything like that. You just like... What about LSD and the cat and trip thing? That's a whole other matter. That, you know, like, 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 we've played on acid as well. Uh, and that does do things to your time sense. Yeah. And it does other things. It, 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 it it produces a lot wider scope, like an unimaginably wider scope of ideas that are available to you. Do you think a lot of your ideas come from these? Mm, no, they just helped what was already there. 
they just made us more conscious of what was already there, you know, what was potentially there. And like, more consciousness means you you have more of an understanding of what you're doing. Having more of an understanding of what you're doing means that you can do better because you're doing it with that much yeah. more of your mind. Would you never go to Alan or film or on acid, would you? Not anymore. We used to. Uh, I wouldn't do it anymore because uh, because we're in a different position now than we were a year ago. You know, mm. Like it, at this point, the experimentation that we that, that we were doing is not a matter of drug experimentation. We're we're experimenting with you know music within music. You know, the drugs part, uh, everybody takes drugs. Uh, that's for another matter. That's like for my personal scene in my my head and and uh, how I feel my attitudes toward things. Um, and like if you know, it, it's just it's just a chance to like unload, mm -hmm. you know, or yeah. just uh, you know, take a good look at who you are and what you're doing, and uh, feel reassured about it, or decide that it's time to change yourself, or whatever, you know. Have you always been like this during bluegrass? Too? Sure, sure, same thing. Except in those days we were all much cooler about it because it was really scary. I mean, you know, like you'd get arrested for it. Yeah. You know, those days were really but, uh, quieter about it. It's becoming more common and people are getting more educated about it. You know? Right. Especially, you I found a really That's interesting thing was about this Anslinger guy who's on all these committees. Right. You think it'll ever get legal, legalized? I think if people will ever get smarter. I don't know if it'll ever get legalized, but I do believe that the, that the legal hassle about it will diminish greatly. In other words, the books, the laws might not be taken off the books, but they'll be but they'll, they'll, but, but, but it's like that the cops will, yeah, right, because they're overlooking it a lot now. They can't help it. They can't help it. There's so much grass. There's so many people smoking grass that, that if, if they were to bust people, everybody who they found smoking grass, they would there wouldn't be room for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the jails would be packed. Sure. And like grass the is fun. Uh, yeah. And the the penal institutions and shit like that have been sending out letters to, to uh to uh you know, to the cops and stuff like that. No more, you know, we don't want any more grass people, you know. Yeah. It's just yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> they don't hurt anybody anyway, so No, right. I mean and, uh, and except for that one thing, nobody's a criminal. Nobody, you know, nobody I know is a criminal, except for dope. You know, and that makes us all criminals. So we're all criminals. Yeah. We'll stay criminals until somebody says you're not a criminal.